it's Matt Stevenson, and welcome to the very first video episode of Insecurity. I cannot think of a better person to ring in this entirely new era than Richard Steenen. You are the Chief Research Officer at IT Harvest. Right. Um, a stack of books you have written, probably this tall. When, when last we spoke... Well, yeah, this tall, yeah. Well, but if you stack enough of them up, we get that tall. This is true. When last we spoke, you were in the process of working on the... Secure Cloud Transformation. So, um, but I, and last we talked, I was just having the idea, what is next for me? And it turns into its uh, Security Yearbook 2020. So a complete history of the IT security industry. So not the technology, not the hacks, uh, or the cyber attacks, and certainly not a history of cryptography, but a history of our industry, right? The vendors and the people that have made the 100 billion plus business that we're in. Is that all? Yeah, it's, I'm thinking it's 300 billion, but uh, I won't know until I'm done with my research, which is coming up pretty fast. I'm doing a bottoms up analysis, first time it's ever been done, of all the vendors, and then I estimate their revenue for each vendor, and then I just add them all up, see what we get. Now, I notice when we have talked about this, and I've seen the imagery for it, it says 2020, the implication being that there could there, be a 2021? There will definitely be a 2021. Um, and then, so each year I'm going to collect the stories from different pioneers in our industry uh, and, and publish those, you know, as separate matter inside the book, inside the overall history. Um, so, you know, there's a never-ending supply of people who have done amazing things for us. Um, and then I'll update it with all the changes that occurred the previous year. So kind of a record of the history as well. So we are at Black Hat this week and the larger hacker summer camp. So there's all kinds of things going on in addition. There's DEF CON next week. There's the Diana Initiative. There's B-Sides Las Vegas and a bunch of stuff that we don't even know about because it's too underground. A guy like you who has been doing this since there's been a this and knows everybody that matters in this thing, when you come out for these events, what is it that you're looking for? I, for one, I want to meet as many people as possible. Um, but two, I, I walk the show floor and I kind of get this this vibe of you know what at least are the vendors seeing as the future of the industry. It usually takes about six hours on the floor, so over two days to actually pick up on that. I always get that at RSA. Now, even the vendors treat Black Hat a little bit like you know a, a RSA midterm kind of thing. It's a little edgier. Yeah, it used to edgier, be at least. But they don't they don't necessarily bring out their innovations or their changes of direction at, at Black Hat. Um, so, but it'll be a really good test of, of where the industry is at. Like, for instance, you know, at, at RSA this year, um, we had Microsoft, Google, AT&T all getting into the sim space at once. You know, that was, it's a huge trend, yeah. you know, for that to happen. But now, um, you know, we're, we're We've had enough time to see, you know, how's that going for them. So I hope to pick up on that and see if they really think SIM is something that needed to be reinvented. Are you seeing anything with regard to the coming 5G next revolution, evolution, whatever we call that, that's no. going to be impactful? No, I've been writing about it um, because it's just dramatically changes how we network, right? If, if now your cell phone gets faster speed than any corporate network can provide, other than the ones that use 5G, um, it means there's just going to be no way to extend the perimeter to everybody's cell phones, other than new ways, right? So I'm watching what Zscaler is doing because they are definitely playing off of that. Um, and all of the uh, so-called zero trust networking, right? Let's just create a separate network, use GRE and tunneling, and we'll just take everybody into our cloud and then give them access to the apps that they need. It's kind of cool development. Gives me something to do this week aside from gambling. And, and, and I got to do this. I don't put you on the spot here. I overheard you were talking with our producers beforehand. You don't have to give the secrets away or even where you might have been when this nefarious activity came. I hear that you like to play craps. I do like to play craps. And it's my game. there might have been a situation arose where you were doing better than they would have preferred? Several times. As a matter of fact, usually if I'm at a table long enough, they pick up on the fact that I'm trying to exercise dice control, which is just change the odds slightly in my favor, reduce the number of sevens that I throw. And if you played long enough, you would start beating the house if you could do that. Um, they pick up on what I'm doing because I'm probably too obvious, which is the next phase, right? Okay, do the dice control, but don't be as obvious. Right, right. Um, but I've been uh, kicked out of uh, Monte Carlo. Um, I've been kicked out of 
here, the mental age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't. They don't have pictures of me yet. Um, I haven't been kicked out of the Tropicana. I always go back there. That's they're friendly and nice people. There. Oh, there we go. Not that people at Mandalay are nice, but uh, <laughs> Richard Steenen, cybersecurity expert, hacking Las Vegas. That's what we're doing. Uh, shameless plugs. People looking for information about you and what you're up to. Where do they go? Yeah, always uh, follow me on, on uh, Twitter at CyberWar. Uh, you can find me at. The, there's a website now that's up and running for security-yearbook.com. And that'll be updated with all the stories as I get them written. Get the first one because it's going to be a collector's item. As always, you know where you can find us. We are at threatvector.silence.com. On social, it is at Silence Inc. and at Blackberry. I'm Matt Stevenson at PacMatt73. We'll see you soon.